Welcome to the Firearm Patriot Channel. I've been uh, out on the range taking a look at the high point carbine. This one's chambered for nine millimeter. Uh, they make them in various different other calibers as well. And they just recently came out with a 10 millimeter carbine. So uh, that's something to take a look at maybe at a later date. Uh, I've had this for a while. Uh, it has been extremely reliable, no issues whatsoever in regards to that. And it's really just been a ton of fun for something that you can get for under $300. And I think it uh, has a lot of advantages. Uh, there's a lot of things I like about it, a few things I don't. So let's take a closer look at it and tell you why I like, why I don't like about it. Okay guys, let's take a little closer look at this 99FTS uh, carbine from High Point. Uh, this one's in the Desert Digital Camo, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, and uh, it comes in a variety of different uh, camo patterns as well as it comes in just black. Now, uh, this gun's gonna weigh in at about six pounds and nine ounces, which is uh, about the same as the Ruger carbine. It's a little shorter than the Ruger, Ruger carbine at 32 and a half inches. You do have a 16 and a half inch barrel on it. You have a lot of accessories on uh, this particular firearm. Uh, TS stands for Tactical Stock 995 TS. It does have some springs here that uh, helps control the recoil. Be honest with you, recoil is not very bad for a nine millimeter coming out of a rifle. Uh, and you get a little bit more velocity out of a carbine. You know, carbines have been around a long time. The 1873 Winchester repeating rifle shot the 4440, and so did the 1873 Peacemaker uh, revolver that came out that year. So, you know, you, if you're a cowboy out on the West, you could carry one uh, ammunition and use it in your uh, rifle or your pistol and revolver. Uh, in this particular case, you're looking at about a th 300 feet per second difference between a four inch barrel pistol and the 16 half inch uh, carbine here. So, you know, you, it, you're gonna get a little bit more penetration, a little bit more energy shooting it out of uh, this carbine, and that makes a lot of sense for home defense. Uh, another thing makes a lot of sense is there's limited recoil to it. You have a longer sight radius. As you can see, uh, it's a very accurate gun. We can go, go ahead and roll some footage right now of me shooting this. Uh, standing up without any kind of rest at 15 yards, and uh, I was very impressed with the accuracy. So we'll go ahead and roll that now. Uh, we're back now, so with the Picatinny rails, it gives you a lot of options. You want to put a red dot up here. You can put a light down there, a uh, laser. It just gives you a lot of options that you don't necessarily have with a pistol. Now, one of the drawbacks of it is it's kind of limited on capacity. You have a 10-round steel magazine. It comes with one 10-round steel magazine. Even the follower steel. Uh, the base plate's polymer, but had no issues in regards to reliability of that magazine. You can get a 20 round magazine from the factory if you want those, but it's not gonna, you're not gonna get a magazine that has a higher capacity uh, than the 20 round magazine. Now this does have a lifetime warranty on it as well. Uh, and you know, if it tears up, they're gonna fix it. It's made in the USA. All your controls are on the left-hand side, so it's set up for a right-hand shooter. You've got your magazine a release button, which works every time, no problems with that either. To me, the grip, pistol grip's a little bit too thick for me. It makes it difficult for me to reach this. If you've got longer thumbs or larger hands, it's probably not gonna be an issue for you. Uh, safety, right here, that's safe. Safety off, got your charging. Uh, handle right there for your boat. Now this is a blowback uh, carbine, so it's gonna be very reliable. You know, now the boat's gonna come back. It's gonna lock there because we have an empty magazine in there. If you didn't uh, have a magazine in, then what you would do is, we'll go ahead and release that. You would simply 
pull this back and push it down and it's got a, a round cutout for that to slide this uh, roller here slides right into that spot and locks it down just like that okay there we go the uh, uh, gun again was very reliable. Let's go ahead and roll some footage of me shooting it on the range just to kind of show you the ejection pattern on it uh, as well as just uh, you know how easy it is to shoot and how well the gun runs.